Hey everybody, I'm Seth Mearsma with MotorOne.com and I'm here with the brand new 2023 Honda HRV. Now, I'm gonna take you through all of the high points of the vehicle. We're gonna talk about design, uh, interior technology, powertrain, pricing, all the good stuff. But before I do, please subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel to help us grow. So we're dealing with a vehicle that is quite a bit larger than the outgoing car. It is taller, longer, and wider than the current HRV, uh, which has a lot of great benefits for usability and as we'll see later, interior space. Let's talk a little bit about the exterior design of the car. The first thing that I saw uh, when I took a look at the new HRV was really a lot of civic design cues, including the front headlamps and, and really the kind of front overall fascia in general. I think it's sleek, it's a very cleaned up two box design uh, and feels a lot more mature and modern, certainly than the outgoing HRV. Now, HRV is gonna come in three different trim levels and you're gonna be able to tell that pretty easily based on some of the uh, design elements that, on the car. For instance, what I, the car I'm standing in front of right now is the EXL, that is the top line trim. Um, and you'll see a lot of gloss black around the car. Again, the grille insert is gloss black. A lot of the front fascia, front and lower, has hits of that. Some other easy ways to spot the differences between the trims are things like the mirror caps, the wheel size. We've got 17 inch wheels on the EXL trim where we've got those black 18 inch on the Sport. Uh, also 17 uh, inches on the LX that we don't have to take a look at right now. Um, different bumpers with a chrome exhaust finisher on the Sport and a cleaned up, kind of more modern and sleek look on the EXL. Uh, no, no finisher at all, no visible exhaust. So let's talk about powertrain. We've got one for HRV right now, and it is a larger displacement, uh, more powerful engine than, than HRV had in the past. We've got a two liter four cylinder engine here making 158 horsepower and 138 pound-feet of torque. So that's up noticeably from the older car, but don't forget, we're talking about a larger vehicle too. All of the engines are connected up to a CVT transmission, uh, which to some of you may be a bad thing, but actually we've really liked Honda CVTs in the past. So we're expecting decent peppy performance uh, from this smaller SUV uh, based on that powertrain. You can also get front-wheel drive cars, or as you'd expect, all-wheel drive. And all, both the vehicles that we're looking at today are in that all-wheel drive configuration. Okay, in terms of fuel economy, which is always something that people go uh, to Honda for when they're shopping for a new vehicle, we're talking about 25 miles per gallon in the city for the all-wheel drive version and 30 miles per gallon on the highway. That bumps up to 26 and 32 for the front-wheel drive car. So those fuel economy numbers aren't quite as good as the outgoing car, but remember, this is a larger vehicle, uh, in theory, appealing to somebody who needs a little bit more capacity as well. So one of the things that HRV has always offered its customers is the ability to carry a lot of stuff. And in this case, because of this nice wide aperture, the ability to carry, put in and out, oddly shaped stuff. Um, another thing that I love about the car is the load floor goes completely flat, right? So you don't have that, the rear seat sticking up. Uh, in a way that, that makes it more difficult to, to keep stuff really secure. The car offers 55.1 total cubic feet of storage space, which is right around the same as the existing HRV, but there's so much functionality there, I don't actually think that's a bad thing in a package this size. So especially in this EXL trim, the HRV does not lack for technology. So we've got a lot of different things to talk about here. Uh, first and foremost, the, the driver display has gone fully digital. We've got a nice bright seven inch screen here uh, that'll probably be really functional and offer a lot of different use of usability. Now, I personally always prefer uh, analog over digital when it comes to my instruments, but that's probably because I'm a little old fashioned. In the center here, we've got an infotainment screen that runs about nine inches and offers a lot of great functionality. I think chief amongst that for most people is uh, the fact that you can run wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto while you're also wirelessly charging your phone. Another really great thing about the HRV is that the entire line comes standard with Honda Sensing, which means you get some advanced safety gear that could be really helpful. We've got adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and Honda's traffic jam assist. All right, let's talk about design a little bit. Again, from the outside, uh, we see a lot of Civic cues and from the interior, it is absolutely uh, a carryover from the Civic interior, which I think is fantastic. We've got this awesome 
single honeycomb insert, uh, which is really elegant, very classy. It integrates the vents, and I think it really pulls the cabin together in a way that's that's pleasing uh, and definitely makes you feel uh, like you've got a lot of horizontal space, which is really nice. All right, now in the EXL, you also get nice things like leather appointments on the steering wheel, these, these leather seats, and the seats are also heated, which is great if, like me, you live in Michigan. So one of the new things for HRV is that there's this seven inch digital display for the driver, uh, which is over here on the left-hand side. And you can see there's a lot of functionality here I can look at range and fuel, uh, you know, change settings. Uh, I can look at navigation and I can even do something with the all-wheel drive torque distribution. Strangely, the other side, the, the Speedo, is actually still analog. So the, dis, the, the screens themselves are pretty well integrated um, and again, offer some nice functionality. So again, we've been talking a lot about space in the HRV. And as you can see, even as a very large person, I fit nicely behind the steering wheel. The cool thing is, in a car this size, I actually fit behind myself uh, very well. Now, this is something we like to write about a lot, but it's cool to actually show. You can see, I've got plenty of room for my knees. I've got plenty of shoulder room and even my head clears. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about pricing. Honda HRV starts at $23,650 for the LX in front wheel drive trim. And then this guy, the EXL, top line in all wheel drive form goes up to $30,195. The car goes on sale sometime later this summer. Now you'll be able to find out exactly when and where if you go to motorone.com where we bring you all of the news all of the time. You can also follow us on your favorite social media channels and of course on YouTube. Please do click like on this one, subscribe, and we'll see you later.